All right, I want to talk a little bit about the Ulti Clip. Now, this is a new product that's designed to enhance the retention of your concealment holster for your defensive firearm. Now, retention is incredibly important in regard to keeping the holster in the same place as often as possible so that when you need your gun, you know exactly where it is. Now, one of the concerns we have with some of the old slide-on clips and some of the traditional slide-on clips is that when you draw the gun, you may end up drawing the holster as well. Now, clearly, there's no ammunition around this firearm. We're using it for this demo. And if I were to, let's say, reach into this bag and not have a good attachment between the holster and the bag, and then when I need this gun, come out completely with the holster, right? Or we could have the same thing happen inside of our waistband. If we pulled on the gun and there was a lot of retention between the gun and the holster, but not a good attachment between the holster and our pants, well, now we end up with a holstered gun. Now, of course, there's emergency procedures for dealing with that, but the world would be a better place if we only had the gun in our hand and not the gun and the holster. And that's what the Ulti Clip is all about, the ultimate clip for retention of your concealment holster. Now, I've installed that on a bunch of different types of holsters here. We have one of these hybrid holsters from Stealth Gear. We've got kind of a traditional uh, Blackhawk. This is one of their leather holsters where we slide that in. And then this, I don't even know what this is, but everyone would pretty much agree, I think, that spend any time around defensive holsters that this is not optimum. This isn't the kind of holster that we're going to recommend. But one of the bad things about it is either it's a very floppy kind of belt slide where we put a belt through this gap here and then wear it and we'd have this holster flopping around like this, or the old slide clips are not really secure. What we've done now is by putting the ulti clip on it, we've actually given it maybe a second life or, or practically a first life where it's actually gonna be potentially useful. And this would be something for off-body carry, really. We wouldn't, still wouldn't wanna wear this you know, as a preferred type of holster inside the waistband or on our body. But if we think about this now as something we can attach inside of this briefcase, this soft briefcase. Now, in the middle here, I've got, this is actually an RFID blocking pocket. And you can see that it's, it's nylon and it's relatively slippery. So putting any kind of a traditional clip on here really would be hard. We get this one that's just friction. And if I were to pinch this in the middle here, what you're gonna see is that once I get it set on there, it is very easy to get to slide off. So if I reach in in an incident where I needed my gun and pulled on the gun, I might get the front sight that hooked on the holster. I might just from the friction of the holster pull this whole thing out. With the ulti clip, that's much less likely to happen. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get a good bite on there with this camming action. Obviously now, what I have is a very secure holster that even when I tug on this, I'm not getting a lot of movement here, I'm not getting this to release, and that's a big difference. So that's one of the ways that this ulti clip can help us in terms of off-body carry. Now of course, that means a bag like this, it means a backpack, it means a purse too. For women that have purses that don't have dedicated holsters, which is usually what we recommend, a dedicated pouch, the ulti clip can actually make that purse more useful. Now I know that a lot of the women I've talked to have said that a lot of the purses out there that are made specifically for firearms are great, but they have three or four or five different bags that they like to carry, and that's one of the things that this can do. Let's take a look at the clip itself, and what really makes it unique is this camming action that's going to cause this area here with that little J-hook to pinch down on whatever it's carrying. Now that J-hook is not specifically designed to have the belt go up above it, right? A traditional J-hook without a cam really just relies on hooking around the belt, and as we pull up, that'll keep the holster in place. This clip can be used with or without a belt, and as you can see here, based on the one that I'm actually carrying, I've got the ulti clip on my traditional kind of crossbreed appendix carry inside the waistband. This is where I carry. This is my everyday carry holster, and I've got it biting into this range and carry belt, and you can see that the clip doesn't go all the way around the belt. It doesn't go down to the bottom of it. It just hooks directly onto it. And what I'm going to do now is take, again, that unloaded firearm, place it down into the holster, and I can pull on this holster and you can see that that's got a really good strong bite on the belt. The other unique thing about the ulti clip is that it can be used without a belt very, very reliably. So I can come just down to the pants and clip that in, and again, I can tug on this and pull on this, and you can see that it's, the gun's gonna rotate out because of the single clip point that we've got. If we had a double clip point with a traditional four o'clock or five o'clock holster, that wouldn't happen. With this appendix carry, sure, we could have a situation where this rotates out, but as I pull the gun up, there's really no way that that's likely to release in a typical situation. Now, one of the things I wanna warn you about is we've seen some people talk about carrying just the ulti clip without a belt 
And with this pair of pants, which are relatively sturdy and strong, really not a big deal. But if we had sweatpants, if we had maybe gym shorts, yoga pants, and there wasn't a lot of structure here, we would worry about the weight of the gun causing this to flop around. But the clip itself, we wouldn't worry about coming off the pants. With an open top holster like this, if I were wearing some kind of a really loose fitting pair of shorts or sweatpants and this were able to flop forward, I might lose a gun, especially a full size heavy gun as opposed to something like this subcompact single stack. So you want to be careful about that. And I would say that if you didn't want to clip onto your belt, maybe you have a nice leather belt, you don't want that clip digging into it, digging into it and ruining it, and you don't want to expose the clip, this is actually something that you can do here to put the belt on over the clip and that's gonna give you that stability and that rigidity to keep the weight of the gun up against your body. So that's something else to consider there. And what I wanna do is show you just how strong these clips are compared to the traditional one. And the guys at UltiClip sent me this little demonstration deal here, and we've borrowed some sandbags from the studio here that hold our light stands and things like that in place. And this is, this is a pretty good amount of weight here. This is probably about 15 pounds. If we look at what happens with a traditional clip, this traditional friction clip, and I put that into this loop, open that up, and it does take some pressure to open up. It definitely would kind of on the surface seem relatively secure, and you can see I can hold that clip up and pick up the weight. But as soon as I try to attach this to any material, like this denim that we've got stretched out for this display, as soon as I attach that to the material and try to pick this up, you're gonna see it's just gonna pull that clip right off. And there's no way I'm getting this weight up off the ground. We take this clip out, and this would be our installation process on our holster. We replace it with the Ulti clip. And again, there's no belt here. There's no anything except the denim. We're just gonna get a good bite on that. And again, I'm gonna pick this up and you're gonna see we have no trouble holding that weight up. I can move it, I can bounce it around a little bit, and it's not going anywhere. So if you're looking for the ultimate in retention of your holster to your garment or to your bag, the Ulti Clip is going to be a great way to go. It's easy to replace, it's easy to install. We'll see another video on that, and you'll be able to take your holster and make sure that it's gonna stay where it needs to be, inside your pants, attached to your clothing, or attached to your bag when you need to pull your gun out, leave the holster behind, and defend yourself or others in a worst case scenario. Let's take a look at how we can install the Ulti Clip on a couple of different types of holsters. Now, the Ulti Clip, of course, is designed to enhance the security of the attachment from your holster to your belt, from your holster to your pants, or your holster even to a bag. And it's relatively easy to install. Now, this is my preferred everyday carry. This is an appendix carry, obviously inside the waistband uh, crossbreed holster. And it's got the typical crossbreed, you see the cross on it, the typical crossbreed belt clip. And you can see this one's a little stretched out from the way I wear it with my rack belt, my range and carry belt that we designed at ICE Training Company. And we're going to just simply take this little multi-tool. It's all we're going to need to do any of these installations. On the crossbreed holster, we're going to undo this screw. And as soon as that gets loose enough, that pops right off. Take that, pop open our package with the Ulti clip. And of course, we can adjust the height on this if we want to. You can see that this matches up pretty well with the height of the standard clip, it's gonna be just a little bit lower at the top. So if we wanted to adjust that, the crossbreed holster and many of the other holsters allow for that adjustment. I'm gonna go ahead and try putting this exactly where it was. And slip that right in there. With the appendix carry holsters, these single attachment points, um, generally we wanna be a little bit loose. We wanna let that float. We want to make sure that this screw is secure, but we don't want to lock this down so much that it becomes very rigid. I like for an appendix carry holster to have a little bit of a float as I stand up and as I sit, it'll change angle. So that little bit of movement there is going to be fine. And that's what we've done. Now we've installed this Ulti clip and I can use that pretty readily. Now let's take a look at the installation on one of these kind of older style leather holsters where the clip just slips in. And these can be a little bit tricky. Again, we're gonna use the multi-tool. First thing I'm gonna do is create a little space here under the leather and over the clip to get this started moving out. Once I get it started, get that completely out of the way, give it a little push or a little pull and the next thing I can do is come back up here, and it looks like I could do this by hand. If I needed to, I could grip on here and just pull this out, but I think I've got it loose enough to just slide that out by hand. Once we get that worked out, here's another Ulti clip, 
and we can take it, and you can see it has a very similar ridge line to what we have on this clip, and that's just a friction kind of grasp. This is going to be that cam action on the ulti clip that holds it to our pants or wherever we're going to put this one, and I'm just going to slide that back in. Again, I'm going to create a little space under the leather to get this started. Once we get that started, we can push that in a little bit and then finish up by hand seating that all the way in. Now, because of this camming action, you can see we get a little bit of a gap there and we can push right past there. Now, some clips are going to be able to be pushed all the way through. We can see that ridge isn't quite coming out. So what I'm going to do is reach in because this one doesn't have enough clearance to push all the way through. I'm going to reach in with my needle nose pliers here and get that up over the lip of this leather so that when I push down, now I have that security of that ridge outside of there. And of course, this isn't going to bother anything here. If you think about where you're wearing this, that's on the outside of the body. So we're not worried about this edge. This is the inside of the body inside the waistband. So there's that application as well. And that could be for inside the waistband carry, or obviously we can put that on top of a bag or anything like that. This stealth gear holster, this is going to be your more traditional inside the waistband hybrid holster where we've got uh, this, this material and then the kydex attached. This is going to be the softer part against your body. And this will have two attachment points. I've already started loosening up those screws, obviously. We pop the clip open. And we can put this one on right here. Get that started. Lock that down and pop another clip open and match that height or we could change that height. Obviously, again, this is adjustable. We can change where this goes on the back and make sure that we get this at exactly the right height. Having never used this particular holster, I'm just going to go with the middle ground. And then if I were going to use this over any extended period of time, I would obviously adjust the height appropriate to where I want the grip of the gun to be, uh, maybe where the belt line is on a certain pair of pants, or the angle that I want this to be at. And obviously, this looks like it's very adjustable for angle as well. And now I've got my two clips set up here for this more traditional 4 o'clock or 5 o'clock carry back there by that wireless transmitter inside the waistband, of course. So you can see there in, in just a couple of minutes, we've installed this in three holsters um, of three different types. We have a single clip, we have the slide-in lock clip, and then we've got two screws on this type of holster, which obviously is very popular. So the ulti clip is something that can be attached to just about any kind of holster, whether it's the slide-in or the screw-in clip type. Make sure that you're using it with a holster that does have replaceable clips, and it's going to enhance your ability to keep that gun exactly where you want it when you need it, reaching underneath your concealment garment to grab that gun and leave the holster behind because the ulti clip will have it attached to the bag or to the clothing that you're wearing. Thank you.